Namaste, Naman to all of my dear students, music learners, listeners and lover. I'm back here, Rachna Mehra from Toronto. In the last lesson, number 13, we were working on note recognition, the knowledge of the note called ear training. So we worked on two notes, Sa and Pa. I hope you guys are able to practice more and more and can get some benefit out of it. So today we are moving forward to the next part of the same year training and adding one more extra note, which is ga. All right. So let me review with you a little bit and then I will add more lesson. Let's start together. Again, the same scale, fifth black, A sharp together. This is our home note. Sa of the practice being making better relation between your voice and the sound of the note. Get involved more and more, merge yourself into the sound and make it like this is your voice, this is Tanpura, right? Try to make it one. It's called relationship with the sound. Enjoy the sound, merge yourself. Another example, this is you and this is Thanpura. It's a universal sound, supreme power and this is individual power, connecting together. Individual soul, supreme power. So which is in between Sa and Pa. Ga sounds like Ga. Try to remember the sound of Ka and keep in your memory. Ga. Tell your mind, tell your memory that Ga sounds like that. So difference between sa and ga. Now let's measure through the sound. Sa. Ga. Ga. 
forward. Sa Doesn't matter what is the scale. Matters what is the gap of the note. Like how the sa sounds and when the sa is here, what will the position of ga sound? If I change the scale, suppose this is your sa, right? Now I'm changing to your scale. Sa, I'm changing to next sa, which is B. Seventh Y. Sa, and ga will fall at the same gap. And pa will be according to the home note, which is sa. Sa. So the space between the notes are the same. It doesn't matter what is your scale. Okay? Hmm. Very important part that you need to understand the sounds. Alright? Let's me let so let me go back to your skill. Uh, that's your old skill. A couple of times. And you can pause my video and keep practicing, keep practicing if you're not getting. Take the help of the harmonium. Harmonium is exactly like a gondola to the child who is starting walking and taking the help of that um, gondola to walk. Or the finger of the mother or father or grandfather mother. Exactly harmonium role is in singing is only that much. Hmm? So. When the child starts standing a little walking, he needs some support, right? Exactly. When you started in the musical journey of life, you just started walking. So take the help of harmonium. Keep testing yourself. Keep judging yourself. Be your own teacher. So, and don't assume, no, I got it. Don't do that. If you're practicing wrong, nobody is there to help you. If you find some good guru, always go and learn. Or ask me the questions, I will help you. Hmm? Let's go. Sa Pause your video and practice. A very important thing, thing I'm going to tell you today again. We have five senses and they all are having energy to absorb the activity which is called actions, right? If we close one sense which is our eye so that energy goes power goes into this ear and you can listen even more better when you close one sense which is eyes we always recommend sometimes to the students close your eyes and focus here so you don't use the energy here and you're transferring this energy to the listening power and your listening become more powerful and you can recognize the sounds in a better way that is the purpose of closing eyes initially later on it is a different stage all right Next 
this book. Uh, and then the same note higher, sir. Right now, first you will practice with me, okay? And as soon as you think you are getting little understanding, you are ready to recognize little bit, start focusing on the energy point to the Prana Shakti, the third eye. Start focusing there. That's called Prana. Mm -hmm. Guys, a new note, so you have to spend more time here to develop more because Sapa you already did lots of practice in the previous recording now you have to spend more time to go to match the level of understanding level of achievement with Sapa you have to keep the same balance to the voicing helps a lot another secret I'm going to give you tongue to the voicing a placement of tongue you can twist your tongue this way that way this way and see where you get the best sound resonance easy flow of the sound try keep searching music is a research work more you are a sadhak more you are a researcher, you will be very successful throughout your life. It's not again one day job, it's a lifetime work for music. For 40 days, I always advise all the students to practice like that, slow speed, 40 days, all right? And uh, yes, I won't tell the next step, otherwise you guys will start doing the next step also. Have patience, music is there for you, okay? One more round. So, smiling while singing Ga Pa Sa Sa Smiling has 
a secret hidden technique inside in the journey of practice of vocal music all right so make it a part of your life own these lessons feel it enjoy it and merge your voice into the tampura sound or initially with harmonium sound you can practice with harmonium i always advise you to practice with harmonium okay before i conclude my lesson i would like all of you to please subscribe my channel press the bell button so you can keep receiving all vocal lessons hmm? all right all the best good luck enjoy work hard music is for you and the world is waiting for you right you have lots of talent within yourself that's why you're watching my channel you're watching my videos only the music lovers can have these lessons enjoy these lessons feel free to ask me the questions i will try my best to answer you and your lesson is in your description box share these videos more and more to the world selflessly whether you know people or you don't know doesn't matter right okay all the best jai shri ram pranam namaste take care